Welcome to Q&A Selling Online with answers to questions about creating an online empire, promoting products, or building a brand. Your host, private label and e-commerce entrepreneur, Quinn Amorm. Welcome, my friends. This is Quinn, and I'm super excited today because the QA Selling Online podcast that you are listening to right now is, at the time of this recording, the number one most heard podcast in Pakistan in business and entrepreneurship. So I want to thank everybody that's listening, not only everybody that's listening on Pakistan, but everywhere else that you're listening. I want to thank you so much because it, it means a lot to me. I don't do this to make any money because, like you know, the podcast does not have advertising. I do this just to offer content and to help out as much as I can. So if you could help by leaving me a review and listening and sharing, I really appreciate that. So it, it makes me it makes me very happy. So let's get into some Amazon business. And I have something very shocking to let you know. And it is the fact that Amazon's click fraud on PPC campaigns and, of course, visual ads is out of control. And I had a long phone call today with a PPC manager at Amazon today. And they can 100%, they believe that they can figure out all the click fraud on Amazon, but they cannot stop it. They cannot stop it at this point. There is no way of preventing it. Before I want to, before I go any further, let me explain what click fraud is. It's if or when a competitor clicks on your ads just to make you spend money. Basically, if they click on your ad once to look at your campaign or to see what what the ad is, uh, where it's taking them, and what you're selling, that's absolutely normal. Of course, it, it, it doesn't count as click fraud. But now there's tools. And, of course, human behavior cannot be detected as well. But uh, the most damaging one is tools that can click on your ad many, many times and spend hundreds of dollars per minute. For example, let me tell you what happened to me. It's been happening now for a week. And it's because of a product that I have that is growing very fast. So it's not huge when it comes to the the category it's not on the top of the category yet but the growth curve of that product is very 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 big so i've been attacked lately and um for example all week i've been getting ctr which is the click through rate of 15% 20% and today was 1000% 1000% uh, which means, for example, my listing, or not my listing, my ad was seen 11 times today and clicked 115. So Amazon showed my ad 11 times and I received 115 clicks on that ad. Of course, the math doesn't add up. So I contacted Amazon they refund all the time. They always refund all, all the click frauds. Uh, most of the times, people don't even catch them like like I did. But uh, Amazon will capture that. And uh, according to the manager that I spoke with today, they will refund you every time uh, after 72 hours. Now, the problem here is, even though you get your money back after 72 hours, for example, today... In 20 minutes, I spent $700. $700 in ads in 20 minutes. Now, for that campaign, the daily budget was marked at $700. So, it stops. The ad stops. When it reaches that daily budget, the ad stops. Now, I'm going to get the money back, so there's no issue there. But the issue is that now for the rest of the day, that ad is maxed so if i don't catch it on time and go there and increase the budget that ad does not display anymore so i don't get any sales from that ad therefore decreasing my sales velocity decreasing my relevancy and also what i am not 100 percent sure yet is if the fact that that ad displayed 11 times it received 115 clicks 
and zero sales, of course, there is no sales happening. If that is going against me, and if it's decreasing my relevancy, because technically 115 people clicked on that ad and nobody bought it, does that decrease my relevancy? Because I know I'm going to get the money back, so that's not the issue. The issue is that tomorrow when I turn on that ad, is it now not relevant so it displays at a higher cost or it doesn't display at all? Those are things that I don't know yet and I'm going to look into this and of course I'll let everybody know here what I can figure out and of course the manager that I'm talking to uh, because this has been happening now for about five days every single day it happens certain keywords i had to turn off and everything so he's keeping an eye on this of course they cannot tell me much about who is doing it at this time at this point they actually say they don't know even if he does find out who it is he will not be able to tell me i will not be allowed to know who it is of course there will be consequences but at this time the biggest issue is that they cannot stop this and 100% 100% it's um, it's black hat, but Amazon cannot prevent it. They can only deal with the consequences after the fact. And, of course, sellers are suffering. Depending on what category you are in, certain categories out there are so, so cutthroat. Just like, you know, supplements, vitamins, uh, skin care, makeup, maybe probably one of the top ones out there. Even, I mean, stuff like electronics is is getting bad. But just check your CTRs. Uh, I I had a discussion once with a so-called Amazon uh, PPC expert. And according to this expert, CTR was the most irrelevant fact in the advertising world. And I completely disagree. And here's one of the proofs right now is the fact that I can measure my CTR, and if I can see that CTR, which is a click-through rate, is too high, I know that something is happening, so it alerts me. But more than anything, my point being that CTR is very important and at the time when I had this discussion, is the fact that the click-through rate on your ad tells you and tells the algorithm how relevant your ad is for that particular search because if somebody is searching for bluetooth speaker and my ad shows up and i have a picture of a lemon and i'm selling hot wheels nothing makes sense here and if i don't know maybe in that case the the click-through rate actually would increase because if i see that ad i'll click on it too just to figure out what's going on there but you know what i mean CTR is important, just like the cost per click is important. The impressions versus the clicks are important. Every kind of stat that you have on ads that's, is important. That's why Google has been using this for, for 20 years, and now Amazon for the last uh, 10 or 15 or whatever it is. I mean, CTR is important. Check your CTR. And, uh, of course, if this happens to you, you don't have to stress out too much with the fact that you're losing money because, like I said, Amazon is very good at refunding you and you may get all your money back or more than likely you will get all your money back. But what we don't know at this point is if it is hurting your campaign for tomorrow and the next day because of that irrelevancy that this causes, if it does cause that, that's something that that manager I spoke with had no idea and anybody that you talk with at support more than likely will have no idea. So that's something that we have to test and I'm about to test that and see uh, if if it is or not, if it works, if it doesn't work, if it's hurting me in the long run, what these black hat clickers, auto clickers, robots, whatever you want to call them, what they're doing to me and what they're doing to thousands of other sellers out there like you guys. So be careful with these clicks. And if you are one of those people that are clicking your competitor's ads, just remember, because it cannot be stopped and Amazon cannot control it right now, 
it doesn't mean that they cannot find the sources. They can find the sources and they can find the clicks, right? They're pretty sure they can find every click is what he told me, but they can't stop it. So if you're one of those doing it, be very careful because with time they will catch you. And um, plus it's not nice to do that. It's not nice because you're hurting people. So just try to focus. That's what I would tell all those people that are doing that. Try to focus on growing your business. Use all your energy to grow your business, not to stop somebody else's. I mean, the trouble that that person went through, maybe uh, building this software or getting somebody to build a software for them to click on their competitor's ads. I mean, wouldn't that time be a lot more useful if they were actually developing something that was helping their business? Because even though they slowed me down, I'm going to continue growing my business. And tomorrow my ad will still be up. And today it's still up again. I just increased my budget to 1500 and then to 2025 because I know I'm going to get my money back. So I keep increasing my ad and people will still see it and I'll still get my sales. But that person, tomorrow, their business is in the exact same position that it was yesterday and the day before. So... For all of you that want to do things the right way, focus, focus with all the strength that you have on growing your business. Try to forget about everybody else's business. Act as if you were the only company out there. Uh, not really the only company because you need to know that there's competition out there. So you, you keep improving your product, improving your support, your customer service. You need to improve all the time, even if you are the only one out there. If you have a unique product, still make sure that you have top-of-the-line customer service and quality and forget about attacking your competitors or seeing what they are doing. And You know, it's just so much energy wasted that I see. Let's all be positive. 2020 is here. It's going to be the greatest year of my life, the greatest year of your life. So let's make this a very positive year. Think positive. And you know what? Let me say what I always say. Start grateful, stay positive, and always profit. Thank you for listening and have a great year.